what's up y'all y'all tuning in with golf and mook make sure you like subscribe comment tell a friend and tell a friend y'all make sure y'all go check me out on instagram under mrs dixon mrs dot d-i-x-o-o-n tiktok the dixon c-h-e-d-i-x-o-n-s-s y'all so today this video is just me and i have chipotle golf is i have golf chipotle too but he's not here yet because he's still working but yeah i don't got time to be waiting on him because i'm starving so i bring y'all here today because for a topic i think this one is mine kind of get y'all here to tell y'all about arizona and how I was literally afraid for my life. Like, and I'm not even kidding with y'all. Um, hold on, y'all. Cause I can't believe I didn't get no sour cream on this. So I get mine with beans, cause of course I'm trying to lose weight. With just beans, um, steak, chicken, guacamole, corn, lettuce. Let me make sure that's right. Lettuce, um, steak and chicken, and a guac and a corn, and I get hot and mild sauce. And Charles like his rice, beans, tofu, that bullshit, lettuce, and all of that, y'all. So excuse me, I just got off of work. I'm looking a lot raggedy. For some reason, since I came back from Arizona, I have been exhausted. Like, let me get back. Today is when it's yesterday night, last night or whatever. Exhausted, and I got straight up and went to work or whatever. Um, this has been a fray, y'all. So, I'm about to smash this shit. So, let me tell y'all what happened. So, y'all look at that. So, we was going to the mountains, of course, to ride the what are they called? ATVs or whatever the hell it's called. Hmm. So good. I'm trying to chew before y'all be talking shit about how I'm chewing my food. Um, well, um, at first, we booked for the four wheelers. It was one sixty nine for three hours for the four wheelers a piece. So I was gonna have one. Chris, my brother, that was twins, y'all. His girlfriend, if y'all don't, if y'all didn't notice that, and Charles, of course. So when we got there, they was like, "Oh, they got the ATV, so let's just get two. So me and Golf was in one, and Twiz and Chris was in one. So boom, we take off. Y'all, it's like 116 degrees out there. Like, I've never done that before, so I didn't know what to expect or whatever. When I say I thought I literally was about to die. So, y'all see how high the mountains up, and we literally rode for almost four hours. But let me tell you why. It was only supposed to be three hours, but 30 minutes of that went to the um, tour. However, we end up doing almost four hours. So... What am I trying to say? Y'all see some of them things you go straight up, like all the way up and down, like and when where you're turning to get to different places, like you can literally fall fall off the cliff. It's like not much room. So I was scared to death. I'm I'm afraid of stuff like that. And I'm so glad I didn't get a four wheeler by myself because I would have turned around or I wouldn't even went up the hill. I didn't know it was like that. So, and you know, golf, he likes to have fun and he liked all that dangerous stuff to me. Mm -mm. So he was doing all the hills and stuff. And sometimes I felt like he was going fast and he was laughing. And then when he found out I was serious, like I was really nervous, he started to slow down, right? No. Um, by this time, we in a mountain for like two and a half hours. And I'm like, okay. Even Swiss and Chris is like, okay, it's time to go. We've been out here too long. And it's so hot. My arm was burning up. We had one water and Charles, no, Charles had two and I had one water because I didn't know. I just didn't know it was just going to be that hot. 
By the time I got to his water, it was burning up like I couldn't even drink it. Do y'all know we got lost in the mountains for over an hour and a half? Y'all know I have high blood pressure, so I can't really be out like that in the heat. However, I didn't expect to be out that long. So we been out there for like four hours and something, right? When I tell y'all, my left hand swelled up so bad, I had to take my ring, my watch, my bracelet off. It was swollen. And then I started feeling like a tingle sensation, like a little tingly thing in my in my hand. Y'all, I thought I was about to have a stroke. Like my whole hand was feeling weird, was so swollen. Oh my God, so then I started freaking out. Charles started freaking out. Like, oh my God, how in the hell did we get out of here? Like, how? It's so hot. Y'all, by this time, we are by under dehydration. My lips is white. His lips is white. Twins and them is frustrated. Like, and I'm trying not to panic, but I'm panicking because now I want to get the hell out of here. So about an hour in, we saw a guy. And he was like, I'm going to cuss the guy and tore out. He should have never left y'all down here. That was horrible. Y'all are wrong way and y'all are deep in the mountains. I'm really freaking out. So he said, I'm going to lead y'all back. You know what I'm saying? To the place where y'all supposed to be. It took 45 minutes to get back to the place. So I'm drenched. We all drenched. It's sand and dust everywhere. I can't breathe. Charles, eyebrows, eyelashes, top of his head is brown, like so dirty. Man, I will never in my life do that shit again. I don't want to ride no four-wheeler, no nothing. You couldn't pay me. Mm -mm. That was a horrible experience. No, I know. I'm always dropping some shit. I know the video is all over the place, but I had to show y'all, and I already knew I was going to come back and do a video. Y'all, that was the worst experience for me. Seriously. I was so weak when I got off that thing, I couldn't even walk up the hill to get to the car. Everybody, I couldn't even do it. I had to walk the long way, barely. I thought I was about to pass out. I have never been so afraid in my life. Mm-mm. I'm never doing that again. He also no, no, no. So now, we were so drained the whole day. We went and took showers. Charles and I got in the pool. I had to lay down for a while. It was a wrap for me. I was like, this is one time I really thought I was going to die, y'all. I'm so serious. Like, it was crazy. I've never experienced anything like that before. And I'm never trying that again. Ever. No four-wheeler, no bicycle. I'm not going to the mountains ever. I down there don't want to go to Gallenberg no more. Like, fuck that. I'm talking about it's giving me anxiety. I feel like I can't breathe right now. And that junk scares me so bad. As soon as I came to my sen sen ugh, senses, I instantly called my children because that's how bad it scared me. For real. Brother to my son. Trying to be grown. Yeah, I am grown. Oh. I need some much. I'm about to make a um I ain't cooking nobody nothing my damn side. I'm about to make a um my cousin at home made a taco taco in a cup or something. Taco dip in a cup with flaming hot. Like today, right now, I'm supposed to be making those hot Cheetos for y'all with the um crab legs. I ain't, I still don't have energy, but I'm gonna bring it. So, I'm sorry y'all didn't have plenty of videos in Arizona that threw me off. But other than that, we had a ball. We went out to some really nice spots, it's so clean and nice there. And I went to Chanel, and got me some bags and shoes. Oh, I love Chanel, y'all. I really do. 
they got a nice store. It, I think it was called like Scottsdale Mall. We was in that um, in that mall, me and Chris, for like four hours. Having a good old time. And in Arizona, like their clubs and stuff, it's like one big block party. It's like 10 different clubs on the same block. I had never seen anything like that, but it was so nice to me. People was really friendly. Um, it was like a place that sold tacos there. I didn't really like them. They were hot as hell. Nose was running, so I didn't really care for those. But Oh, one place we did go to. If y'all are ever in Arizona, y'all, y'all have to go to some place called State 44. When I tell y'all, they got the almost some of the, I ain't gonna say best food, because Hell's Kitchen here in Georgia is slapping, and Arnett's Stop House. Steak 44, they got some of the best steak, corn pudding, spinach, green beans I've ever tasted in my life. I was smashing. Another time, our bill was $500. Like, that, these restaurants are extremely fucking high. Mm-hmm. So... I just wanted to share that with y'all. But y'all, that's my video for today. I will be back with some cooking videos. I got y'all. I got a whole lot of stuff in mind. Since y'all like to see me cook, I would have been there. That. And more boils, of course. Because I got a big ass box of crab legs that I don't want to go bad. But stay tuned, y'all. Love y'all. Peace.